Friday night and said to him, Indeed, you are a dead man. Because of the woman you have, whom you have taken, where she is a man's wife. Did you see that? Instead of punishing Abraham and Sarah, he said, the Lord said to the king of Israel, you're a dead man. You know? Consider yourself dead. Jeez. Wow. How does that work? What is wrong with this couple? They're a bunch of crooks. You know what? When it gets better, when Isaac, Abraham's son, who was married to Rebecca, moved in Gerard many years after that. Isaac and Rebecca like the same thing. Exactly the same thing. He did the same thing to the king. Try to imagine the king's reaction. My God! What's going on here? You know? It must have been Terry's era. What is wrong with these people? Why me? You know? See that even the king seemed to be more spiritual than Abraham at that time. <laughs> Considering the king was a pagan. He's a pagan. You know, it's funny because sometimes we judge people because of the kind of movies they watch. You know. And, uh, because of the, the show they was. No, I'm not talking about that. You know, it's so bad, so much stuff going on. There's so much swearing, there's so much nudity, there's a lot of murders. But then again, look at the Bible, let's, let's see something worse than the Bible. Right? Don't get me wrong. My point is, this is my point. It, we can judge people who care because of their choices, <laughs> movies, and shows. We might as well tell them not to read the Bible. Yeah. It's basically the Old Testament. We're just making a point. And here's another irony. Remember this happened in a span of many years, from Egypt to Gerard. We did the same thing. Because God always kept his father. Abraham was favored by God. And the covenant covered him. He lied, he sinned, and he came out of Egypt and Gerard laden with wealth. No plenty of it. It may not seem fair. But that's God. That's how God works. Honors his covenant. He even blessed him. See, a covenant is a solid commitment guaranteeing promises for obligations undertaken by both parties, <coughs> sealed with an oath. See, when God enters a covenant into a covenant relationship with humanity, God sovereignly <coughs> institutes a life and death bond. You know? In other words, a covenant is a life and death relationship with God on His terms. He is the in faith and term. See, in a covenant with God, there is no bargaining, there is no bartering, there is no contract or negotiation regarding the term. Neither is God's covenant something we must earn by our good works. It is always a gracious provision from the loving God to His people. Let me ask you something here. Was the Pharaoh in the wrong <coughs> the story? Yes or no? Of course not. Was King and Himalaya was in the wrong? No. In fact, they were victims. Did God give Abraham a license to sin? To do those horrible things? He did it by himself. Perhaps out of needs, out of fear, out of his love with Sarah, or just purely a habit. God didn't make him to do it. Because he 
trusted himself more than he trusts God when the going gets up. See, rather than trusting God, he trusts himself. Yeah, this incident is a good example of how God sometimes allows bad things to take place in someone's life as part of the larger situation. We may not always know why bad things happen, but that does not mean that we are without purpose. Remember, God did not give bad things to test. Or He doesn't give bad things to test us, but, but He allows it. And God has a larger purpose behind everything that takes place. Just like Paul said, we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are cold, who are cold for them. So God does not cause bad things to happen, but when it happens, He actually turns it around for you. as a test. So despite of what happened to Abraham, God proved His strength and perfect. That His strength is perfect and that he is the only one with the power to say now, like this I'm not saying that we should go out there and start deceiving people or you know, lie to someone in order to get a blessing so that you are glorified yeah. now, we are by no means endorsing or condoning immoral living but this to serve to illustrate that God blessed Abraham regardless of his level of obedience. That God is always faithful even if we're not. Yes, but he lied. He deceived. He abused. Did God, did God care at all? Of course he cares. But what happens to not lie, to not covet, love your neighbors? What about incest? You know? You know what? God is really good, the same. In, the, in that early days, it just happened that there was no moral living standard. There was no law. Alright? The law of Moses hadn't existed then. So effectively, there was no law to break. You get it? You with me? The Ten Commandments were introduced 430 years after that. Which bring us, brings us to the next covenant. But before we go, the next one. Genesis 56, it says, Abraham believed the Lord and he credited him he credited it to him as righteousness. See, God blessed Abraham regardless. He was giving God's righteousness. You know, but sometimes it saddens, it saddens me to hear that some Christian setting is actually setting a higher standard than what the Lord has set for us. You know? Abraham was a righteous man not because of his way of living, but because he was credited righteousness by the Lord himself because of his faith. It was by faith by which he received righteousness. Faith does not earn righteousness. It receives righteousness. This is why he was the beneficiary of that wonderful covenant. What a beautiful covenant, don't you think? No, second, this is a covenant that God made to Moses. It's called Mo Moses' covenant. Plus, the Ten Commandments. Galatians 3, 16 to 19. Let's have a look. Now Abraham and his seed were the promises made. So now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. It does not say, and to seeds as of many, but as of one. And to your seed, who is Christ. Now, this covenant is actually 
described in the Bible as the Old Covenant. This is the Old Covenant that we have. Where God gave Moses the law and the Ten Commandments. Now, after Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, <coughs> Egypt captivity, despite the, them witnessing the goodness of the Lord with the mighty signs and wonders of God, <coughs> you know, they still kept on complaining, complaining and murmuring, and it doesn't stop. They didn't want to have a personal relationship with God. In fact, they always asked Moses to talk to, to God in their behalf. See? They were not comfortable living with God in a relationship basis. So despite all the goodness and protection God had done and given them, they still complained. Even saying that God, they had even saying that God and Moses wanted to kill them. See Exodus 6 and 3. Let's have a look. And the children of Israel said to them, Oh, that we have died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat with both and meat and when he bread to the full. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. They even accused God trying to kill them after all what he had done to them. Let's let that work to ourselves for now. Let's be honest. Sometimes, or how often we find ourselves praising God in the morning right at the worship portion of the service, and not even in the end or halfway to the service. We find ourselves complaining about something right. You know. That happens. I'm sure you agree with me. Yeah. Oh, that person is really like that. I heard something that he didn't like. Wow. Well, I can't stand it. It happens. But let us not like this. Winters. Of course, God's grace abounds, keeps abounding. But we should capitalize on that grace to help us overcome us instead of winters. So that complaining went on and on and on to the point when eventually they no longer believed that God was on their side. They were still in that unbelief state. The sin of unbelief, meaning no faith at all. So what did God do in response to their sins? See, God decided to give them something that required them no faith at all. No faith from their side. Faith doesn't require for them to have faith and believe in the goodness of the Lord. But it said something to guide them and lead them to trust God. So what did he do? What did he, do? he gave the law and all these other commandments to keep. Exodus 24, 7, 9. Let's have a look again. Then he took the book of the covenant and read in the hearing of the people and he said, All that the Lord has said, we will do. And be obedient. And Moses took the blood, sprinkled it on the people, and said, This is the blood of the covenant which the Lord, which the Lord has made with you, according to all these words. That's their response. They were even boasting. And, you know, prior to the Arrogant, they say, okay, we will, we will do everything that says. We will obey them all. <clears throat> but what was the law given? What is, what, what is the purpose does it serve? It 
We can go back to Galatians 3. Verse 19. What work was the then the, the law served? It was added because of the transgression. Till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. Okay, what's, why was the law given? Because of transgressions. You can call it crime, you can call it offense, you can call it disobedience. But it all, all comes down to sin. And as you know, even up to now, Israel's sin is their persistent unbelief in the goodness of the Lord, the sovereignty of God. They still refuse to acknowledge that God wanted to bless them, wanted to care for them, wanted to love them, and save them, and most importantly, be the God. So the law was given unto them. And verse 19, what purpose did then the law serve? It was added because of the transgression. That's what it is. Okay? Added. The word added. I want you to, to think about that. Why was it added? Added to where? Now, do you remember the covenant God made with Abraham? Okay? That was the previous covenant before this. Which means this law, the law of Moses and the Ten Commandments, were an additional sort of things to the previous covenant, to Abraham's covenant. And the words until the seed. What is the seed? It says, 